behalf of the trustees, the executive of the County Grand Arms Lodge of Glasgow, I welcome you all to your service of remembrance here this morning. We hope and trust that today's event, being a cultural and heritage event, will gladden your hearts to see the pageantry, the bands, and the expression of our faith. We hope and trust that you will enjoy the event and take part and enjoy the spectacle and be law-abiding citizens. And I hand you over to our Grand Chapman, Brother Tom Gregg, who will lead us in worship. Thank you, Eddie. Good morning. Let's open our proceedings and bow our heads in prayer. Heavenly Father, as we traditionally take this time and our day of celebration to think of the areas of conflict around the world, where ordinary men and women were asked to shed their blood and lay down their lives, sometimes for their own freedom, sometimes for the freedom of others. Lord, we remember before you with grateful hearts these men and these women of our country, who in the day of decision gave their all for our liberties, the liberties with which we now enjoy. Help us to recognize the incalculable debt that we owe to them, that we may strive in our own time to maintain true freedom in our nation and to safeguard the cost. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. We're going to sing the first and last verse of the hymn Abide With Me after the intro from the back. Yeah. 
Good afternoon. Come on, we can do better than that. Good afternoon. Brothers and sisters, bands and Protestant friends, I'm deeply honoured and privileged on behalf of the Executive of County Grand Ons Lodge of Glasgow to welcome you all to Glasgow Green as we celebrate the 321st anniversary of the Battle of the Boyne. I also extend a warm welcome to our di distinguished guests here on the platform. Our guest speaker today is our own most worthy Grand Master, Brother Henry Dunbar, who I'm sure will have something strong and passionate things to say. We have Brother Charles Kefferty, right worthy County Grand Master of the County Grand Ons Lodge of Central Scotland, accompanied by Brother Sam Dingmullen, Treasurer. Representing County Grand Lodge of East Scotland is Brother George Wilson, accompanied by Brother George Jai G. Beaton, Deputy County Grand Secretary. We have a representation from the Ladies' Association, headed by Sister Jean Logan, Deputy County Grand Mistress. Deputy Grand Mistress, sorry Jean. From across the water, affirming the bond of fellowship that exists between the County Grand Lodge of Glasgow and County Grand Lodge of Belfast, we have a delegation headed by Brother Tom here, right with the County Grand Master, George Chinnick, Deputy County Grand Master, and Brother McFunny, County Grand Secretary, and John Patterson, Deputy County Grand Secretary. Included in the Belfast delegation is Brother Mervyn Bishop, Imperial Grand Secretary. Our other distinguished guests on the platform came hail from England and Northern Ireland. To all our guests, will you please give them a rousing welcome? That was good. I'll now pass you on to our County Grand Lodge Chaplain, Brother R.G. Sawyers, who will conduct our service of remembrance. Thank you. Let us begin this service of thanksgiving by being upstanding and singing the first and last verse of the 23rd Psalm. 